Today I have for you the magic box, what's in the box. Um, not everything can be winners, so these are what I will be returning back. Before I went on my trip to Illinois, I had a coupon for $15 or $5 off a $15 purchase of um, cosmetics. And so I decided to pick up a couple of items to try out before I went to Illinois. So um, one of the things that I purchased was this Le Fru Fru Mascara by NYX. It is volume and length. It was just in their black color, BMC01. And um, when I tried it on, I just didn't feel that it really gave the volume or the length. I've been having a lot better luck with the Physicians Formula one that I had purchased. I think it's called like, um, I don't know, Viva, like Vava Boom or something like that. But that's what I have on now. And I just feel like that formula and that brush is a little bit better for me. And I like it more. So this one's going back. It was originally just over $6 before the discount. And when I was looking um, at NYC, I wanted to try to find an eyeshadow primer. I have been using one by e.l.f. forever. It's um, I reviewed it before on my blog. It was a, kind of like a dupe for the Urban Decay one that I got as a free sample with my Naked palette. And um, it's really, it works really well. It doesn't really provide a good coverage of any discoloration you might have on your lids with veins or whatnot, but it does the job. Um, but after watching a lot of YouTube videos, I decided I wanted to try something different. And I can't find any of the ones that they recommend. Everything that I find that's kind of like a thick pencil like this is, um, is got a shimmer to it and I don't want shimmer for the baby. So when I was looking for an eyeshadow primer, I found this and it's called City Proof Twistable Perfection, Perfecting Lip Primer. It's got a bit of a pink color, but when you put it on, it's just a clear gloss. Um, I decided to try this um, underneath my new NARS lipstick that I bought to see if it would help the color last a little bit longer and you know, um, just to stay more vibrant. And I noticed when I put this on the first time, I just put it on my lips and then I immediately put on my NARS lipstick and um, it, it was very wet. Like the NARS lipstick, if you've used that formula before, it goes on and it's kind of like a satiny finish and then it gets a little dry over time, but it's, it's, it's not a gloss whatsoever. When I put this on with it, it was extremely slick and I felt like it got kind of messy. So I tried another time where I put the primer on and then I waited a little bit to see if it would set and then put the NARS lipstick on and it still, I was not having it. So this is going back and it was $4.19 before the discount. And the last item that I'm really disappointed in is the Makeup Academy Professional Brush. This one is specifically for BB and CC cream. Now, I've been using liquid foundation, so I thought, well, BB cream, CC cream, they're all liquidy, so this should work really great, right? It's got, um, it's a bit of stiff bristles, and um, when I put it on the very first time, this thing shed like no other. I had so many hairs on my face. It was ridiculous. I used it for the first time before I was leaving on the airplane, and I'm like sitting there at like I don't even know how it really was. It was really, really not like picking stuff off my face and it was just, it was ridiculous. So um, this is going back. And this one was a bit more money. It was $18.50. And I purchased a lot of brands from, you know, drugstores and targets of different brushes and I've never had anything as bad as this. Like this was ridiculous. And not to be a complete Debbie down of the whole video, I decided to include two things that are actually the same product that I found on a YouTube video. Um, with a girl named Candice, and I'll link her below. These are the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Polishes. They were like $4, I don't know, they might have been a bit cheaper. Um, this color is Sonic Blue, and it's what I have on right now. And this color is Grease Lightning, it's a nice gray color. Grayish blue, I would say. Um, but these dry so fast. When I first used the gray, I put it on this hand, and by the time I painted this hand, this one was completely dry, it was amazing. And um, it had really good coverage, I had put one coat on there and it was, I mean, it was passable, I didn't put any more. With this polish, I ended up trying to do like a better manicure, so I actually did like a base coat and then I did two of these and then I did a top coat. But I did it a week ago, there is some chipping, but overall it's still really shiny, but I know that's due to my top coat. 
Um, but they held up really well. So I really recommend for moms, especially when you only have a couple minutes to do your nails. I went years without doing nails. Then I got those quick dry drops, which I still love and I have them. Um, they're by OPI. But uh, I really like these and I feel like I feel so much put, more put together when I have nail polish on. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but anyway, so that is what I have going back. So um, feel free to leave any recommendations below of other stuff I should try from the drugstore. I'm still trying to find a good eyeshadow primer. The brand that I keep searching for is at Walgreens and it's by Jordan or Jordana, one of those. They don't have that stick at my Walgreens and I've been to like three of them. So anyways, thanks. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and don't feel free to subscribe. Uh